so guys for the first step you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings click on it and now once you're on this you want to click on other troubleshooters and then you want to find windows update click on run and now you want to run this if any problems come up it will try to fix it for you or it's going to give you some steps that you can do to try fix it so you want to go through all of this and then do what it says and now for the second step you want to head over to search and type in language settings click on it and now once you're on this, you want to make sure that your Windows display language is set to the correct one. You want to select the correct display language. And then you want to scroll down and then you want to select your correct country or region. Make sure that your country or region is also correct. And then once you do that, now you want to click on time and language on the top. And now you want to click on date and time. And now you want to scroll down. Make sure that you have set time automatically on. And make sure that your time zone is also correct. And you want to scroll down again. And then click on sync now. And now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space full slash scan now. And I click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. And now as the scan's running, you want to head over to search again and type in CMD again. Then you want to run it as administrator as well. And then click on yes. And now you just want to copy and paste the code, which is going to be down below in the description. You want to copy and paste this command. So you just want to highlight over this, control C. Go back to CMD, Control V, and click on Enter. So now you want to run both these scans. And now once both these scans have been completed, you just want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.